y'all? It's your boy, the vintage Mr. Clean. We are here in Martinsville. Boink. We are going on a big trip down to IU. We'll have a special guest in the next location. We're going all the way down to Tell City, the border of Kentucky, basically. We are here. It is 8.55. We're the first ones here. 8.56. And it's 24 freaking degrees. Y'all checking out the shoe section. Just clean champion. It's got all these stains on it. Otherwise, these are really cool. Yo, chilling in the bag section. That Jeff Gordon duffel bag, though. And I thought about getting this. This is the second one I've ever found. I don't really need any devil bags, and these haven't really been doing well, but this is super cool. Oh, Warrior. I see. Oh, that's cool. Yo, shout out to Ian, or whatever that dude's name is. This is cool. Who does this fit? What the? F oh, the turtleneck, yo. size on that puppy that's gonna be a maybe we'll see I'm gonna throw it in there just in case oh that LL team yo that's kind of nice is this like a trench coat I don't even know live in the cut what the Jamaica colorway shout out to Jansen Gosh, I'm gonna have to hit this. This is sick. Black, green, red. All right, so first up on the not cop list is the Doug piece. If this was vintage, I would definitely get it, but it's it's newer. I still shout out to Doug. Best shows, Boondock Saints. This is kind of a cult classic, but um, this shirt specifically is from the late 2000s, so it's not gonna do very well. I'd get this Purdue piece, but this stuff never sells. Next up, we got the Tommy Hill figure. Not only is it a bad time for this, but it's also got a stain right there. So it's not going to do very well. Also might be bootleg, I'm not really sure. The turtleneck passing on it. Turtlenecks haven't done really well for me. This is just some random limited two brand. So, didn't find too much on the vintage front. Didn't think it was cool enough. The all blue on blue Pacers. I think this might be vintage, I'm not sure, but the blue on blue, the double color hasn't really done well in the past, so I'm gonna be passing on it. Plus I already have some other good Pacer stuff. This is a Harley Davidson shirt from 2012. This is kinda okay, but nothing crazy. This one, oh my gosh, I almost got this. This was on the back though, that was the problem. This was on the front. If, it, if that was on the front and, or it was half off, I'd get it. It's just not gonna work. Last but not least is the polo, Ralph Lauren. Not really good at getting polos, so I'm gonna pass on it. First up on the cop list is the Jansen piece. The red, green, and black, had to get it. And this shirt, oh man, this is so sick. This is from 1991. So sick. What's up, girl? What size is this? 3X? Oh, well, it's probably a 2X. Super happy with what we got. Two pieces. Almost got the Monet piece. My favorite piece was that shirt um, that was from 1991, the car shirt. It says it's a 3X, but it might be a 2X, I think, because vintage, the sizes were all messed up. And I have a guy who loves to get my 2X stuff. So that could go like that. But we're on to Bloomington where we'll have our special guest. He's either gonna be there on the first store or the second store, I believe. But I think there's three stores in Bloomington and we'll be in IU's town, IU's country. So let's get it. 